่ไม่มีปัญหาพี่This is a harrowing true story, um, one that the entire world knows. How did you go about um, approaching this authentically? Um, well, like being Thai and being here during the whole situation once it actually happened, I think we all became a part of the story even before, like engaging in filming this, because we were all so like nervous and excited and. Everybody was watching the news as it happened. I think I think that contributes to the whole authenticity of it because we were there during the whole situation, and yeah, so that helped a lot while we were filming as well. I have to say that, like Yaya said, that we have uh, we all know the incidents, we know the characters, we know the people who are in the the incident. So it's like we all knows. It is uh, so for me. It's really easy for me to convey the feeling uh, through the characters from that. Yeah. And because we have all know the ending of the story, but one the another aspect that we didn't know is um, what is how would we, how would I say what is the angle or what is the feeling of the people who are waiting. So in this film, we are trying to project or portraying the angle of the people who are waiting in the cave and also the people who are outside of the cave fighting to find a way in order to help the people inside. เจ้าหน้าที่ของอุทยานยืนยันนะครับว่าตอนนี้ที่หมูป่ายังไม่ออกมาจากถ้ำหลวงตั้งแต่เมื่อคืนวานมันซับซ้อนมากกว่าที่เราคาดการณ์กันไว้การที่จะเร็วออกมาก็ไม่ใช่เรื่องง่าย We have two enemies right now weather and water Dana and Michael I know you two have worked together before on designated survivor um, how did working together in the past prepare you for this project and was this the story that you always knew you wanted to tell? How did the three of you come together for this? Well, we've we've worked together a lot longer than Designated Survivor. We we started out as writers' assistants on the newsroom together, and uh, we've had our desks uh, pushed together, facing each other for like what it was, what is that eight nine years? I don't want to do the math. Okay, uh, so yeah, so it was uh, it was great. I think Dana. I'm gonna steal Dana's phrase, but she said this: "This these scripts are the best of both of us," and so I think that's really true. And Dana is detail oriented, and I am not at all. And so uh, she she really <laughs> saved me, and I think I just did the other things. So, Baz, I'll go to you. You know, this series takes a deeper dive into this story than we've seen before. Tell me a little bit more about filming in the actual cave. Um, what it was like recreating deeper parts of the cave and uh, what you had access to and the decision to include what you decided to include. So I have to say that this is really amazing because uh, there, is a, there are two aspects. The first one is when we are filming in the actual cave, it's really uh, put me into the perspective of the difficulty of the volunteers who has been working at that time and the willingness that they're trying to help the people inside. And for me, as the one who is um, working on the set, it's really providing me the appreciation for those who has been working there. And the second um, answer, uh, the second point to that is, um, there are some parts that we cannot film in the actual cave, so we have to film on a set. It's really putting me more appreciation to the team, whether it's the, the Thai team or the international team, because this is really, it's really, really uh, putting the success for the mission. Yeah. There have been other iterations of this incredible real life story done before. What was it personally, um, what was personally important for you to portray in this six part series? Uh, a lot of things. I mean, it's a really special story that has so many different facets. And it was really important to us to really dig into the humanity in the story. It's an exceptional event that brought people together from all over the world and to really highlight how it's possible to come together for the greater good, especially at a time when, you know, the world was going through COVID and everything felt so fraught to know that it's still possible to drop everything and help someone was, was a really important aspect of it, but also as a mother, just imagining what it must have been like for those parents to have their kids inside a mountain for 18 days and not know if they were going to live or die. I can't really fathom it. And not a lot of stories about rescues really get into 
the trauma and, and the emotion of the moment. And we really wanted to explore that um, because it's a huge aspect of it. Thai Cave Rescue, Netflix's six episode limited series debuts on September 22nd. Thank you so much for taking the time Thank out you. to speak with us today. Such Come a pleasure. Nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. ถ้าจะไปก็ไปด้วยกันยังก็อยู่ด้วยกันหมดที่นี่แหละแต่พี่ก็หวังว่าพวกคุณทุกคนจะดูแลกันได้กันเป็นครอบครัวนะ